US East, best of five. Uh, between Retals and Sharif. Let me just say, okay, best of five. I'll start this match and then I'll explain why this is significant. So, I'm sure most of you know, but just in case you're new here, Retals and Sharif have played on my stream two times before this. They played in the 12 Titans Grand Final of the North American Qualifier, uh, where Sharif was able to get one of the best comebacks I've ever seen in a single game and to take the win. Then Retals wanted a rematch. He says he wants he wants a, a chance to redeem himself against Sharif. They, they can go whenever, by the way. Don't know what they're waiting for. Um, he wanted a rematch, and we gave him the rematch, and he won the rematch. So they are currently tied, I guess, but Retals has the most recent win, so he'll probably feel better. Then again, Sharif did uh, qualify and win the entire 12 Titans NA qualifier, which was a huge achievement. So both players have something to be happy about, something to be sad about. Excellent um, air roll on the kickoff to win the race to the ball there for Sharif. I just want to continue with a little bit of an intro here, though, because I need to explain to you guys that it was indeed Sharif who requested this rematch, or requested the trilogy to be completed because, and I quote, um, he wants revenge on Retals. Rettles like petals. He wants revenge from the last best of five defeat. He wants to see if he can win a best of five show match. Sharif has never won a best of five show match on my stream, uh, losing a couple of very close ones. He's decided to shadow on the far side here. This is unconventional, but it's going to work out as Rettles doesn't really do much with the flick. Just gave it away there. Unconventional shadowing is, or unconventional defending is, of course, what Sharif is all about. He decides not to try and follow this up with a double touch, and he will get punished. Sharif may, may have been able to reach up for this, I'm not sure. I don't think it would have been possible to uh, continue flying and double touch that ball. But it would have been nice to see him try. I would have liked to see a double touch attempt after he realized that's hitting the crossbar because there's really no way he's going to get down and recovered in time to save the counterattack from Rettles. Again, Sharif sticking around with low boost. This is something we're very used to seeing from him. Who else did Sharif lose a show match against on my stream? Was it... Uh, it wasn't Rani, was it? I know he lost to AJ in a very close series. And I swear he lost one more before losing to Rettles in their rematch. Sharif is flying after this one. Needs to get a block from an impossible angle and he can't do it. 2-1 Rettles. And it's a very, very solid in the mid challenge in the midfield. He didn't just hit the ball at the backboard here. He hit Sharif at the backboard as well. And Sharif did land. Gave himself a chance to challenge the ball on the rebound. But he was not able to take it. Not able to secure that challenge. You qualified for LAN? Uh, Google.com actually is the answer to that question. Just to clear this up, Sheriff is the whiny little child. Nah, mate, that's no, none of that. None of that. Some, if somebody's apologized for something, why bring it up again? I am absolutely not going to condone people trying to start drama with... Uh, a situation that has already been resolved. That's just childish. Come on, Sea Savage, you're better than that. But um, just to really quickly comment on that situation, it is fully resolved. And like, I've made mistakes in, in my Rocket League career and I've apologized for them. And I would never want anybody to, well, I think it's really childish when somebody brings up Hello, something Johnny. I've done, which I've you already apologized for. So I wouldn't want Rocket anybody League. to do that about someone else, you know? Thank you for being the best streamer, no bait. No bitch, Snake Sneaky. Thanks for the two months and very kind words. Welcome back, my man. Uh, the Lone Brick, thanks for gifting a tier one sub to Excrete. Welcome, Excrete. Thank you, The Lone Brick. Uh, Buffalo, thanks for the 420. If this is this is the troll message. We have so many troll Goodness messages today. Goodness gracious me. In all my years, I've not seen such a ravishing old factory. Glam. Nah, not like that, Sea Savage, this, though. Not like that. This, like, this is no racing. What I don't mind, like, day. jokey drama. What I don't mind ro indeed. pros roasting she each other. Rettles with the, the double touch. The, game. Oh me, oh my, what a day. the thing Boy I want more. to highlight about this from Rettles is he side flips to set that up. If you find yourself in that position, you're trying to center the ball to yourself, side flip. The reason for that is because you can start um, moving towards the center as you hit the ball. Your, your, your flip actually takes you towards the right direction. Uh, any other flip will probably not do that. Been watching you on YouTube for ages. You're such a good content creator. Keep it up, Prizo. Good to see. Why is it, wh when does this start? I've never heard this like uh, this debate before. <laughs> when did it start? 
Is this just my stream that this happens in, or has this been happening all over Twitch where you just have a really nice message and then follow up with the wrong content creator's name? I like it. I'm a fan. I'm a big fan. <coughs> but now listen, just to clarify, C Savage, I'm perfectly fine with drama when it's not when it's just like a bit of trash talk, alright? If somebody's just saying, yeah, you're you're a bad player, I don't respect you, that's fine. You know, that's just a little bit of trash talk. It doesn't doesn't harm anyone's brand, it's just just a bit of fun. If somebody's like, uh, you know, yeah, I don't like the way you handle this situation, that, that's fine, you know? But if somebody, like, legitimately does something, and then they regret it, and apologize for it, because they got maybe a, a criticism for it, or there was a backlash, or they realized that they were wrong, um, and then they apologize for it, that's where I draw the line and say, okay, we should stop talking about this, because really, what, what is talking about it again going to achieve? Nothing. The guy's already apologized. Oh my goodness, Rettles! With miss of the series, and he's given Sharif a big, big chance now on the counter attack. He's winding up the hook like shot. Nice to cut in field instead. And the backflip flick is not going to work. Get them to play on stream? Uh, I don't see it happening because EU versus NA is just not, not very fun right now. Good control by Sharif. This was not an easy piece of control as Rettles was alongside him for the entire time. And then he did jump. Realized he's on the wrong side of the ball. Um, I've already said the replay, see? You realize he's on the wrong side of the ball um, to continue that flick maneuver that he was thinking about. So he decided not to go for it, and it was a very smart decision. Sharif doesn't even air roll into the shot, and that is surprising. Rettles now with plenty boost to make a solid attack, but Sharif turns early to shut it and shuts him down. I'll catch up on all the alerts at the end of this uh, show match, guys. I realize there are a lot now uh, that just came in at once. And 10 pound of the prize pool is Jay. It's in the past. Like, I love prize pools, but... I hate paying like taxes and tiny little price bills, so these guys don't know if they want to play for $10. I'll put the... If, oh my goodness, Rails, what are you doing, mate? This is no time for showboating. You've got to defend one more time in this match to get the W. Sharif has got a lot of boost, but he's got no time, and Rettles can surely get this down. He will, and that is a 1-0. Low-scoring affair, though. Very low-scoring game in game one. I'll put a donation goal up at the top if we hit 50, uh, if we hit 50 quid or something. Uh, I just can't. I need to set a minimum on that. Like, to make me make a donation goal, it's gonna be like at least 50. I do appreciate that, and I will give it to the winner, but I'm not gonna make a goal uh, for a $10 donation, you know what I mean? Or a 10 pound donation. But yeah, you're uh, glad that you're enjoying Rizzo's content as well, Jay. You absolute troll. So let's think about what happened that game. Sharif went for a very risky off the wall. Wait. Hold on. Okay, it did put them in the right teams. Sharif went for a very risky off-the-wall play, which did not work. Uh, and that gave Rettles a free goal. Rettles missed an open net, though. That's a double, or that's a flip reset for Rettles. Both players have got the default, or the fixed camera glitch right now, so we're just going to have to bear with it. Looks like it will go in. JRL, I'm sorry for debating you, but that's 35 quid now. If it reaches Someone 50, I'll make, a, I'll make a wee goal. I'll make a wee... Uh, Oh, well, to be honest, 35 quid's probably $50. All right, I'll make it, because, I, I mean, this is... You didn't know. You didn't know any better. I'll try it. Let me just do it. All right, excuse me. I can't... This is the only thing. I've got to, like, refresh the page. Go to the donation goal. Hope that it works. End the previous one. Remember what month it is. Remember what day it is. I don't know these quite the answer to these questions. I think we're at 35 now. Sharif 2-0. Looking pretty good, right? So what's the date? What date is tomorrow? Tomorrow's the 25th, right? I'll make it 26. The date honestly doesn't matter. I just don't want this goal to end. I don't want this goal to disappear. All right, there we go. I think... I think we did it. So if I push this button... Yes, there it is. All right, so that is the donation goal for the prize pool. We're up to 35 quid. Probably some of the region of $50. And it's all thanks to JRL. Very much appreciated, man. Um... And like I said before, I'll catch up on all the alerts at the end of the show match. If you are not going to be here when the end of the show match occurs, then I'll thank you right now. Thank you. <laughs> thank you, all you people who have to leave but have supported the stream. Sharif needs to do a little bit more here, and he does. Perfect continuation of this wall shot by Sharif. Look at this from Wrestle's POV. Sharif just keeps on lifting the ball in the air roll. Does lift it into the net. That might be goal of the series so far. Press 1 in chat if you think that's better than Rettles' uh, center ball to himself. And uh, double touch. All while airborne. I think I would press 1 for that one. That's just my opinion, though. Uh, 
You guys agree? I'm glad. I'm glad. So I like being right. And Sharif is absolutely smashing rattles on kickoff at the moment. Oh my goodness. He got a kickoff goal to start off game one. And it was almost identical from Sharif's POV to what we just saw. The only difference being that Rettles this time decided to go back to his goal to try and uh, save the shot rather than um, trying to contest Sharif in the midfield. Neither one of those was successful. But I want to highlight this from Rettles. Look at that backwards camera dribble. How does he do it? We're not going to see it on the replay, unfortunately. I just... I. Just like for a minute, can we just appreciate that bug's that that bug's existence? There is a there is currently. Let's just stop and think for a minute. There is currently a bug with the spectator client where the game points the camera backwards. Just appreciate that for a minute. I don't know how you accidentally code that. I just want to say like Psionics, thanks for keeping us on our toes. That is incredible. I honestly don't know how that happens. <laughs> Not just that, there's all kinds of bugs. There's one where it looks all the way to the left, one that looks all the way to the right. We never know what we're going to get. Like, you know, we're, we're stuck on, again, just the forced fixed camera here, even though Sharif, I'm sure, is using ball cam at the moment. We don't know that. We can't see that. Rettles has got another shot. Sharif this time does decide to do something about it. And a necessary touch there for Sharif to keep Rettles at bay. And he's going to do so a little bit more with a clear ball. Rettles does close the distance. Nice challenge by Sharif. Notice what he did there is he went opposite the side of the ball that Rettles was uh, coming in at. So Rettles is dribbling from uh, Sharif's left to right. And Sharif gets on the right-hand side of the ball before flipping. What that does is it means that if Rettles does go for a flick, there's a chance, a good chance, that Sharif will get a block on it. If he doesn't, if Rettles doesn't go for a flick, and if he goes for a fake, then he'll also get a touch on it because he's flipping in the same direction regardless of what Rettles decides to do. That's why it's important to challenge from the opposite side of the ball. If you can, if you can smell uh, mind game shenanigans especially. Good challenge though by Rettles. Just doing exactly what we're talking about. Getting on the opposite side of the ball of his opponent and plowing through. He had the boost advantage for that entire segment of play. Sure, he's going to go for the shot. Doesn't put it in though. Yep couple of options here. He could have slow played that. Um, gone for the side boost, but he decided to just go for the shot instead. A play that I do actually agree with there. Does it look like it might have been scoreable? Good speed there by Sharif to deny Rettles the interception. But really, what Sharif needs to be doing right now is putting the brakes on Rettles' attack, because Rettles has been scoring an awful lot. Nice save there by Sharif using his own crossbar. He needs to slow down Rettles, who's on a three-goal swing, despite the fact that he's down 5-3. to three. This is a big chance, so Sharif can get up before Rettles does. It does take a bit too long, though, and Rettles, again, boost advantage, has an opening, and he will slot it in. That is a one-goal game, and it's starting to get very dangerous for Sharif. He's a long way from being out of the woods. This is 1 minute 49 seconds. A lot can happen in that much time in a 1v1. Land predictions, ask me later. I'm kind of in the middle of something right now. Sharif misses his kickoff goal. The one that's been favorite of him. That's been his favorite kickoff goal all day. But Rails misses another open net. Both players should have scored. Sharif, obviously the one who should have scored first. And he didn't. And again, Sharif missing on what looked like it might have been an open net. And Rettles as well misses an open net from distance. This is ridiculous. Both players just trading misses. And eventually we go back to Sharif and he will put it in. Third time lucky. What on earth did, did we just see? That is not the kind of gameplay I would expect from either of these guys, but it just shows you that they are definitely feeling the uh, the squeeze at the moment. The last minute and 30 seconds in any 1v1 in Rocket League in such a close game. Always going to be um, a nerve-wracking affair. Air roll shot by Sharif into the crossbar. What on earth does that say? The JNSYY. I don't even know what that says. Can we, can we something this just XD joy to re, I'm, I, it's probably like something, can we get Johnny Boy, can we bait Johnny Boy to read it, uh, it's an experiment to see if, oh, why are they all like capital letters in, at random places, I'm struggling here. I'm an old man, I can't read that. I don't have my glasses. Don't have my glasses. 
Give me a break. Thanks for uh, probably just baiting me into reading some troll message there just because it's small text. Rails with a huge challenge. Sharif might make it in time. He does get dunked on though. And Rails has tied this up. He is so close to doubling up. And it's all because Sharif keeps on going for more and more goals Into my heart when he has the lead already. From yon far country blows. What are those blue remembered hills? What spires? What farms are those? This is probably going to be a troll the message land at the end. Lost content. I see it shining plain. The, the land of lost content. Where I went and cannot come again. Well, demo attempt for Sharif doesn't work, but he's got a decent recovery. Rettles trips him up on the landing and continues to be the player with the momentum on his side. He might go for a flip reset here. Decides to go for a dunk instead. Sharif will get an excellent save. Open net. Sharif will put it in. He shows Rettles how it's done. But Rettles was so close. I, I would have loved to see um, Rettles go for a double touch or a flip reset there. As he had so long, he had so much time to choose what kind of shot he wanted to make. Why are you guys spamming this? I can't read it. Why are you spamming this? Can we something this just... Can we spam this just so Johnny has to read it? It's an experiment to see if his nose would... Uh, uh, wait, his he is moving. If his nose, wait, is it nose? Would hit the screen. Lol. It just looks like it says la right now. Uh, save replay. I'm trying. If this is the first series, I actually managed to save an entire set of replays for. I'm gonna be so proud of myself. Did I get it right though? Did I manage to read that whole thing? Did I make it? Did I get it all right? Listen, I'm quite. I'm pretty proud of myself. I managed to read all that. My nose didn't touch the screen and I still managed to read it. <laughs> and I saved the replay. I'm on fire right there. I'm on fire. You guys have to give it to me. That was pretty nuts. That's never been done before. Can most people read that? How, what, what size of text is that? That looks really small. That was very, very small text. Truth be told, I don't have glasses because I know somebody's going to ask, wait, Johnny, do you have contacts? Have, have you lied to me this, this whole time? No, I don't. I don't have contacts. I don't have glasses. So I've just got decent, decent eyesight. Um, just like Rettles has got pretty decent 50-50s. So if you want to have more success in your dead ball 50-50 game yourself, notice what Rettles did there is he pointed the nose of his car down the way so he can boost down as he's hitting the ball. And that's just to keep his car locked on to the ball as the 50-50 occurs. Very, very smart. People think Johnny's nose is big, remember he never to stream again. It's a meme, dude. It's a meme. My nose is like, probably on, the, I guess it's probably on the large side of the spectrum, but it's by no means like a huge nose. It's, it's just a, it's, it all comes from one day when I, I streamed with the title Roast Me, um, and that's what people went for, and I acted deliberately self-conscious about it, and people were like, oh, we've got him. We found the thing that he's self-conscious about. Everybody spam it. And it's never gone away to this day. I don't mind it though. My nose earns me loads of money so many trolls a decent shot by Sharif but it's no more than a tickle on the goalpost for Rettles he started off game three very well here as we've been completely completely distracted and Rettles is mixing up his offense very well he's keeping Sharif guessing we've had low 50 50 into flick into low 50 50 so what do you guys think is going to be next um, I know what I I know what I expect Rettles to go for when he has the option for one or the other Sharif has been struggling. The end of the last game and the start of this one have not been going well for him. That's a bit fortunate as he puts it into the open blue net. Rettles was not able to read this inside of the post bounce. I'm surprised actually because it looked even from Rettles' POV there like the ball was hitting the inside of the post very flush. And that is why we see uh, the ball coming back into the middle there. Very important that Sharif doesn't let Rettles pull away here to a three or four goal lead because when these two have played, Rettles has looked like the one. Well, in the in the in the show match games, I should say, Rettles has looked like the one with more comeback potential. But let us not forget the crazy comeback that Sharif managed to pull off to win the 12 Titans online qualifier for NA. It was one of the best comebacks I've ever seen, if not the best. And it did involve a little bit of beanery from this man. That's not to say that Sharif didn't play well. Played very well. Played his only win condition, which was 
to go for a backboard flip reset into center ball to himself. Followed by a floor pinch. Rettles is mixing up his attacks still. We saw ground shot last time, now flick. So we've seen two flicks, one ground shot, two low 50-50s. Sharif has done a very good job to keep Rettles on only two goals when Rettles has been mixing it up this much. And we know Rettles is pretty good at flicks. He's definitely got low 50-50s down. Um, I've not seen enough of his ground shooting to comment on that. But he, he is certainly a dangerous player. A very, very dangerous series player. He did win a pretty big 1v1 tournament recently. Shriek with a huge miss there. That was wide open. His Rettles did not read the wall bounce very well. Back and forth Rocket League at the moment. Neither of these players has been able to boost starve their opponent for any lengthy period of time. Neither of them's really tried to do it. They've been focusing on um, just keeping their own boost as high as possible. Which is sort of, I think, the North American style. More the North American style, at least, of 1v1. Which is, let me just focus on keeping my own boost as high as possible. Rather than keeping my opponent's boost as low as possible. Here, I'll tell you what. This floor pinch and semi-dunk by Sharif is about as dirty as you can get. How low did he get for that one? My word. Rettles just got completely smashed there. And a back and forth ending in such a huge goal for Sharif. It's got to feel pretty good for him. He's lost his kickoff territorially, but he should be able to win it. Oh no, Rettles sneaks in and takes the boost. Well played by him. And can he turn this one around and keep Sharif boost starved? He's certainly trying to. And he'll backflip flick it over the top. That's going to be an immediate one goal game yet again in favor of Rettles. Sometimes you skip ads that support you on Twitch. Because of all the times your nose is blocked stream. How dare you? How dare you? Listen, you guys can get ad blocked. You can skip ads for all the rest of your life. Just, you know, sub to me maybe one time. Because, uh, you know, one sub is equivalent of like hundreds of hours of ads watched. Or maybe not hundreds. Maybe Yeah, probably hundreds. Because ads, ads don't really make that much. Sharif is really playing very controlled. This is the most, I'll say, consistent. The most careful, the most calculated I've ever seen Sharif play. Completely undoing Rettles' attack there with a couple of backboard passes to himself. And that's rare. We've not seen the, we've not seen much of that this series. Much consistent pressure. Much uh, boost denial. As Rettles does deny Sharif's boost. Sharif said to feather all the boost that he had just to keep this ball under control. He's no doubt going to back out of this. Even a player who loves to turn the challenge as much as Sharif does. We'll have to say no to that one. Rettles gets it over the top somehow. I was really expecting Sharif to turn and challenge here at some point because he does, he's shown in the past that he likes to do so. But the field's backflip there for Sharif did not help him. He got bumped by Rettles, but the backflip wasn't going to be the right choice anyway, regardless of the bump. He was not going to make a save there. Pulls out of his kickoff goal attempt. In favor of boost this time. Excellent half flip there by Sharif. Mid movement. He's up for the rebound and he's put it on target. What a play by Sharif. This was technically an open net miss. But did he make up for it? Well played. Getting that one over the top of Rettles. He wasn't even too late to the rebound as well. We've got a tie up game. Whoever wins this is going to be one game away from taking the series. This is the best of five for anybody who's just tuning in. Great composure there by Sharif. Great focus. And he's going to take the lead. Rettles has missed the ball at the near post. A couple of goals going in here at the end of this game, which absolutely should not be occurring. Rettles, what was that? He couldn't make up his mind what he wanted to do there. He's thinking, do I pop it? Do I keep it in the corner? Do I just try and knock it downfield? How about hit the ball and then worry about where after the fact? Hey, doesn't matter if you're just going to score a kickoff goal. <laughs> I guess I guess it doesn't matter if you're just going to score a kickoff goal. But we are completely tied up in the trilogy. Both these players have beaten each other on my stream once in the past, and they are one all in games, five all in games, and goal score. Sharif with the final chance of the game. Rettles is close for the time being. Sharif doesn't get the flick over the top, and the ball will drop. Any tourneys planned for the day? Yeah, maybe after this uh, show match, maybe after another show match. We'll see. Neutral kickoff by Sharif, and he's got a lot of space here. Switch on to Rettles. It looks like Sharif does have the. One of the camera glitches. Sharif didn't really put much of a shot on net there. That was 
Rettles panicking that made it look like it was almost a goal scoring opportunity. Rettles pressuring this with absolutely no boost to speak of. Steals Sharif, but Sharif, what a bait by Sharif! He leaves his boost up in the corner. Rettles comes in to get it to even up the boost game, and Sharif just puts it into his net. What a play! 4D chess by the 12 Titans North American Qualifier Champion. Since you told me about the 85% off, it only seemed right to give it to you, Johnny. Oh, thanks, man. Um, I think the 85% discount is still is still happening. I think it's still uh, still a thing on Twitch. If it's not, then uh, somebody please look. Can you guys press one in chat if the um, if the two if the 85% discount or 500 bits is still a thing? I was speaking earlier about uh, you know subbing if you don't want to watch adverts. Uh, you know, let, let, think about it like this. If, if you want to support your favorite content creator, but you also don't like adverts, just get ad block and then sub to them because then you can have better viewing experience without adverts. That's that's what I do. I just, I just have ad block. And I'm a content creator, I'm telling you that, so you know. It must be true. I don't even know if I'm allowed to say that. Am I allowed to say that? Am I just going to get banned from Twitch for promoting ad block? It didn't really promote it, I just condoned it, you know? Just saying it's perfectly fine if you do it, but. You can still support your favorite streamers, and the, probably the best way to do that right now is with the 85% discount on um, on bits, because it's such a such a huge huge discount of 500 bits. You can you don't have to give all those bits to one streamer. You can give like a few of them to one guy and another few of them to to another guy. It's all up to you. It's all up to you. Rettles, delayed air dribble, and the dunk. What a read by Rettles. Probably the initial plan here was just to take the ball over the top of Sharif by delaying his boost. See there, he jumps, lets go a boost, just kind of floats after the ball. Then he starts boosting again as the ball is passing by the midpoint of trajectory to get that late pop, something that Kuxer popularized in 1v1. Um, but when Sharif reads that, of course, he had to continue flying and look for the dunk after the fact, which he did perfectly. It was a well-executed... Um, offensive maneuver. Good turnaround on the wall by Rettles. He's taking Sharif out of the game again. Sharif with an excellent save and a boost secure in the back corner to stay well in this game. He's going for an air dribble of his own. Has to go for a block. Actually, Rettles hasn't got a very good clear here, but Sharif's recovery is equally bad. I was wondering if Sharif was going to fly in front of that ball and look for an air dribble bump because that distant air dribble does usually indicate air dribble bump. Rettles way high and into the crossbar with this one. That's given Sharif a wide open net, which if he did initially miss, will not do on the second touch, and that is going to be a one goal game. Um, sorry, I have to look at my phone really quick. I just got a message uh, that I have to reply to. Uh, yeah, sorry about this. I'll. Alright, phone is down. Hate doing that, but sometimes I just have to reply to a message. Sometimes it just happens. Uh, is Prime Video not included? Well, when Prime what? You get with Amazon Prime, you get all this stuff. It's great. You get Twitch Prime, Amazon Prime, you get everything. It's speed by Sharif in defense. Rattles was also uh, arriving at the ball first. That's where we saw Sharif adapt his flight path, lean back into a blocking angle. Is Rattles going to be able to take this to a game five? At the moment, it looks likely. But Sharif has been playing the smartest that I've ever seen him play on a series on my stream. Maybe even the smartest that I've ever seen him play on my stream, full stop. Wave dash by Sharif to set up the half volley. Not a powerful one, though. And he did leave the boost in Rettel's corner in favor of going for that shot. So if the shot doesn't work, he's sort of conceded possession as well. Always on his phone during show match. Listen, I just had to, had to reply because I told somebody to message me when they were done. Uh, what they were doing, but then I'm kind of busy, so I'm like, oh yeah, sorry, I told you to message me after you're done, but I'm busy, so I'll message you when I'm done, you know? One of those type of conversations. Now, Rettles tries to trip up Sharif, but in doing so, just carries him into the boost, and now Sharif has another opportunity with an air dribble. He doesn't really make much off it, though, and I want to see more air dribble bumps. That's a perfect position to do an air dribble bump, which is a strategy that has way more potency at the moment than a straight up air dribble, especially from that range. However, Rettles is not looking solid in defense. What on earth is that? He had a lot of time there to decide where to clear the ball and he hit it straight on top of Sharif's car to tie up the game. Sharif has two goals in a row. Rettles again though, responding with a straight away kickoff. Second time he's done that. He did this last game as well. 
Um, it's always horrible as the player in Sharif's shoes. He's just worked really hard for an equalizer, then the opponent just gets a kickoff goal. Feels bad. Is he going to punish him? He is going to punish him with a revenge kickoff goal. Looks like Rettles might have put this one in himself. And indeed he did. He didn't really do much with his positioning here. Maybe not realizing that Sharif was just going to shoot straight away. Uh, Rettles might have expected control there by Sharif, in which case moving in close was the correct thing to do. Now it's Sharif on the run. As Rettles is threatening long shots, he's got the boost steal in the back corner. Sharif has heard that, and he knows that he didn't miss the boost. Rettles took it from him. Rettles still threatening rebounds at the near post. Sharif needs to do something about this, and he will. Very, very late interception, but a nice follow-through challenge. And the possession play to the left-hand side of the field. Rettles going for a bit of a pinch, but he's got to be careful because Sharif is right there. And even if he does pinch it, surely it's just going to hit Sharif's car and go straight back towards his net. This is another center ball by Rettles. Luckily for him, he's there to defend this one. One minute remaining. A single goal by Sharif should, could be, certainly not should, but could be all it takes to win this entire series. Rettles, though, the more favored player to score from this position as he flicks it over the top. Great flick here by Rettles. Perfect timing. As soon as he hears Sharif turning or sees Sharif turning, or Reed Sharif turning. He pulls the trigger and he's got the one goal lead back in his control. This kickoff does continue to go to the right hand side almost every time for Sharif, who doesn't get the flick over the top of Rettles. Now Sharif might have underestimated Rettles' boost here. Indeed he has, as Rettles puts it in. Sharif expecting Rettles to be boost starved after Rettles sat underneath the ball here for as long as he did. But that was not the case. Rails managed to save up 36, which is excellent. Excellent boost management. By the player currently trailing in the series. Looking to get us tied up here. 30 seconds between him and a game five. Sharif has a lot of work to do. No boost. And he's leaving his net open. Rettles to the top corner. Sharif with a save, though. I want to save it was. Flying into position. But he needs more than that. He needs possession to start things off. Because he can't do anything without the ball right now. And no Demolish, no tackle, no interception coming into play here for Sharif, who's being chased down. Can he even do anything about this? Pit maneuver attempt onto Rettles is not going to function. That's going to be a game five, regardless of where this ball will end up. And it won't even be a celebratory goal for Sharif. He's going to have to go into the last game, having conceded two in a row, which is a little bit unfortunate for him. But game five it is. Did they go to game five last time they played on stream? I've got a feeling that it was 3-1 to Rettles. I'm not 100% sure on that, though. Not 100% sure about that. Somebody might have to check for me. Uh, Gizmatch, probably not. Whoa. Okay, yeah, we are going to get this to start. I don't know why that keeps happening. I'm not sure if it's a client that's pulling Sharif into the blue team or if it's Sharif that's doing it himself. But either way, we did get into position before this kickoff started. And it looks like Rettles was moving from the get-go, so he wasn't thrown off by that, uh, that change team. Oh, I forgot to save two replays, didn't I? I'm a bean. Is that a double kickoff goal for Sharif? He's got a lot of work to do for this one. He can't get there in time. Yeah, that's why I need an emote to help me save replays. As soon as we get to that 1200 sub goal, I'm going to make it, but until then, I'm just going <laughs> to just keep, keep forgetting. I'm a creature of habit, and I've never been one for saving replays. I'm just not very really good at it. Another air dribble by Sharif with no dunk, no... Uh, no bump, no demo. Just a straight up air dribble. I don't, I can't say I'm a fan of this. It's not worked for him this series. And it's something that I've not seen work for almost anyone in a long, long time. Air dribble bumps are so, so popular at the moment. It's so, so effective at the moment that I would love to see that instead of the air dribble for Sharif. I don't know if he's, uh, if he's good at those though. I've never seen him do one before. Yeah, Dub, it was a good idea. It was a good idea. Keeps him as the same team. Yeah, ask W Hero, but this is uh, the teams that they've both been um, every single game. And Sharif did get autoed into the orange team. But then he got pulled into the blue team after, and then he went back into the orange team. So I don't know what that was about. It was a little back and forth for Sharif. Two goals from the kickoff for Sharif. He's looking for a boost steal on this one. Gets demoed clean out of the air, and Rettles looks like he got the boost as well. Oh no, never mind. He took the middle one. Big chance here for Rettles. Decides to go for the mind game, and he's. Taking Sharif completely out of the play. 
again, Rettles has such an impressive offensive repertoire this series. He's mixing it up very well. Sharif has to say to himself, though, could have probably got closer to that one, though. Could have probably got closer. He was afraid of the half volley. A little bit too much, perhaps. Can he get another kickoff goal, though? That's a good chance, but Rettles has done well. Very good save there by Retzel. Sharif taking his sweet time on the follow-up and will get punished as a result. Again, not looking for the demo was Sharif, despite the fact that Retzel has no boost here. Um, or had no boost before he secured the middle one. Sharif refusing to go, or at least prioritize, and focus on bump and demo plays. That's been his biggest weakness, I think, in offense. He's not been aggressive enough. Retzel himself has not been, um, I would say consistent enough with his open nets. Can he put this one in? He's taking his time and I don't blame him. With how many he's missed. And surely he's getting punished for scoring himself and not the ball. Do you think a meta of players specifically defending other players like in basketball way to shut down? Do you think of a meta? Wait, do I think of a, me a meta to shut down players in defense? Um, yeah, I kind of talk about that. It's more a mind game than a meta game in Rocket League defense. Of course, ball chasing beats. Oh my goodness, Rettles, how, how did he put this in? Sharif was even in the area to try and stop Rettles from dishing this one in, but he still managed to. Oh my goodness, Rettles with a very deft touch to put that one behind Sharif. He actually slowed down that ball to a standstill as it crossed the line. And now the man who has won the previous series that these two players did play on my stream has the lead and a strong one 4-2 in a low scoring game this is a, a series which has had quite a few low scoring games I think we had 3-2 to start things off in game 1 which is very low scoring for 1v1 ah you mean man marking no I don't think man marking is particularly effective in Rocket League because you can't really turn on the spot in Rocket League Man marking works really well in um, real sports because players can just turn on the spot um, and like counter every movement side to side. But if somebody wrong fits you in Rocket League, you're out of the game. Simple as that. So man marking doesn't really work. That's why people rotate. It's because you can only turn. You can't. You can turn like a car. You can't turn on the spot like a human. I'm sure you're very aware of this, but you know, it sounds obvious, but that's that's the reason. Still a two-goal game here. Rettles has a chance to make it three. This is as good as open as he's going to get. But he's decided to go in field with it. I'm not sure why Rettles didn't just pull the trigger there. And now he's panicking. He's almost giving Sharif a way into this play. And Sharif will be able to get a pretty free turnover here. Got to be careful for the demo. And he isn't careful for the demo. Rettles comes in from the blind spot. And he's got another chance. What's he going to make of this one? Backboards it. He's so, so tentative about going up for it. Wrestles is just playing the clock here rather than playing for the goal. Which is not wrong. But very curious in a position like that. Especially the first position that he had there. Which was looked to me to be an open net. I mean, I know Rails, you've been missing open nets today. But passing up on one just to cut in field does seem a little bit questionable. And Sharif is going to make it a one goal game. Kickoff goals have been happening for Sharif as well. This series, all it takes is one goal for this man. And he might just get a second immediately afterwards. Never mind. It's going to be Rettles with his kickoff goal attempt. Sharif does save it. Rettles still panicking here in his own half. Or in his own in the halfway line. Sharif with another opportunity. Rettles has to dedicate a lot of boost to getting this one clear. Second touch comes in. It's not a good one. Sharif. Open net. Can't put a good shot on target though. And Rettles, for the time being, survives. Can he stay ahead though? That is the question. And Sharif with another early challenge. Pops Rettles high into the air. He's used all his boost just to back off here. Sharif flicks it. Straightforward flick, but a threatening flick nonetheless. Again, Rettles has to use so much boost just to get a soft clear. He's got absolutely none, and that's why he's looking for the 50-50. And now we have 50 almost seconds left. Sharif still in attack. Still looking for that crossbar pass to himself. Rettles has done so well on the backboard in the past minute or so. And that boost steal by Rettles should secure the possession for himself. This is what he wants. He just wants possession. He's not even been looking for goals, really. He's just looking for possession and outplays. And this is going to be an outplay. Sharif commits to a challenge, which should have been a fake challenge. And we have a two-goal game. Sharif needs a kickoff goal now more than ever. And it has been kickoff goals galore for Sharif. 
uh, moments in this series. He's got a very strong kickoff possession, but the flick is just not good enough. Sharif needs to do so much more there, as there is no height, no power, no accuracy, and a 20-second time differential here between Rettles and the win. Sharif has a very difficult shot, but he puts it in! This man will never give up. He has got 11 seconds and he still needs another goal. Look at this from Sharif off the backboard. One touch and a second one. Goal of the series. But he doesn't want to stop now. One goal game. Can Sharif do the impossible a second time? Oh my goodness. Sharif has done it again. And Rails is going to be thinking, how has this happened? This man never gives up, never surrenders, and the kickoff goal doubles him up, and he could take this in regulation time. We got seven seconds on the clock, surely. I can't believe it, but he's doing it. Top corner, oh my goodness, it's hit the crossbar. And into overtime we go, I can't believe it. But we are in an overtime, and it could be another kickoff goal. Sharif is crushing the kickoffs. And it is going to be a kickoff goal. Sharif has done it. Rettles with the rage quit. Oh my goodness. What a comeback. Two goals down. 20 seconds left. He's on the backboard. Passes it to himself. And gets the rebound. Sweet, sweet victory for Sharif. That one is going to feel pretty good. That one is going to feel pretty good. Hold on. I've got to type something. <laughs> I just don't know. I just don't know. You can't, like, you guys are calling it scripted. You can't script this stuff. You can't script that. Oh, yeah, just another to a last second comeback for Sharif into a win. You can't script that stuff. I've saved the replay. I've saved it. Yeah, we do need a script demo, actually. We do. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to go to my, uh, I'm going to go to my notes right now with my editor. We need a, um, we need a script a <laughs> scripted emote. What else do we need? We need a whistle emote. Oh my goodness, that's got to feel pretty good for Sharif. Is he streaming right now? Is he streaming? Because if he is, you know what I'm going to do when I'm done this stream. I'm going to watch his stream. I'm going to watch his vote. I really hope he was streaming that. I don't think he will be though. He's probably taking it seriously. Wow. Wow, wow, wow. That is incredible. Uh, that rivalry is personal, by the way. That is not just a rivalry based on history. That is a rivalry based on, like, the, the players involved. Those guys, uh, Sharif and, and Rettles, they've got, a, they've got a very personal rivalry, so that's going to feel very, very good for Sharif and very, very bad for Rettles, who led with two... or to, led by two goals to 20 seconds. He wants stream... Wasn't. Yeah, I'm sure he wasn't. I didn't think he would be streaming. Let's go watch that last goal again. Holy cow. What a goal by Sharif. It's very similar to his second last goal. This is... So similar to the 12 Titans. Come back. So similar. I actually can't believe how similar this is. Just let's let's think back. Let's rewind the clock a little bit. So 12 Titans. Let, I'm gonna pause it right uh right here. Okay, 12 Titans, NA qualifier grand final. Shreef's in a pretty similar position to this where he has to center it to himself and put the ball into the net with about you know 14, 15 seconds left. Almost the same. Oh, how does he do it this time? He jumps off the wall, still has his dodge, dodges into the ball, and then follows through for a double touch. That is absolutely out of this world. I have, I don't think I've ever seen a goal like this in a 1v1. Ever. Where somebody comes off the back wall and then backboards it to themselves again to put it in. That's outrageous. Uh, 70 to 10 of the goal scored a kickoff. So, yeah, you're not wrong, Rails. That's why 1v1, that's, like, that's honestly why 1v1 can be so exciting. Uh, just because there's so many, so many kickoffs <laughs> going on. Like, comeback potential in ones is insane. But GG's, dude. Insane series, Rails. It's a shame that you always have to be on the bad end of the insane series. But, hey, at least you're, at least you're part of it. And at least you made... I mean, if this is how somebody's going to beat you... Like, if somebody has to do this to beat you, you don't need to feel bad about yourself. Because this is absolutely ridiculous. <laughs> That's absolutely ridiculous. I don't remember the last time that I was that hyped on stream. That was so exciting. That was so exciting. I actually can't believe what we just saw. 
Yeah, yeah, Floris. If you if you missed that one, you need to just stop what you're doing right now and go watch that series, Floris. That's one of the best of all time. No kidding, that's one of the best series we've ever seen. <laughs> just unbelievable stuff. Every time that I you know a good series happens on my stream, I'm always thinking to myself, man, it's gonna be so hard to top this, like the firewall series that happened, and I'm like, we're never gonna we're never gonna see something better than that, you know? And then the Jesse vs. Blaze series happens, I'm like, oh my goodness, another good series. There's so many. Yeah, no wonder you're shaking Sharif. The only downside to this one is we didn't see uh, Sharif's POV of it. I would have loved to see Sharif's POV of that series. That would have been something else.